Hello everyone. This is Kavita Walaolkar Patel from Parijat Academy's e-learning private limited. I welcome you all and I'm really happy to see you all here trying to attain our, or getting involved in our uh, workshop. It's been great. I would really like to introduce my uh, colleague Shilpa Divekar. Shilpa Divekar is a French trainer. She has more than 10 years of experience in translator as a interpreter as a trainer her domain is a technical professional and many more so let us try to understand what and how shilpa is going to help us in business french how she is going to develop our french language when it comes or the french skill when it comes to the business lead let's us call shilpa divekar and ask i would like to ask her to take this program further shilpa please come from forward good shilpa. evening good evening kavita thank you so much uh, for uh, such a great introduction so i will uh, start with my introduction first i will start with the french introduction and then i definitely uh, i will do the english also uh, Okay, so bonsoir, Chamapel Shilpa Divekar, je suis expert en langue française. Je fais ma sève de en France, de Alliance Française de Pune. Depuis dix ans, je travaille en langue française en tant que traductrice, interprète et formatrice. Je travaille davantage dans le domaine technique et je donne le même des course to front uh, france uh, technique u professional uh, john sine le dalf dalf a t o f uh, etc uh, et je suis associé uh, à l'academy la, uh, de paris jat du département de france uh, je vous remercie de uh, participer à ce uh, séminaire so, so good evening all i'm shilpa divekar i have done my c2 in uh, french language from alliance française de pune Uh, since 10 years i'm working uh, with a uh, french language as a translator interpreter and a uh, trainer uh, i uh, mostly i do the technical translation uh, i have uh, uh, knowledge of technical uh, field uh, most i have been working with uh, so many uh, french uh, belgium canadian companies uh, for technical translation and interpreter and uh, due to that experience i've come up with so many uh, courses which are especially designed for the professionals uh, professional like uh, business people or the employees and even for the students students who are uh, doing professional courses like hotel management engineering medical and so on uh, so i work with the parichat academy in the french department as a french faculty here and i would like to thank you all for the attending this uh, seminar uh, so let's uh, start uh, with our uh, uh, seminar so first of all i wanted to uh, give you some introduction of a french uh, language so everyone as you know that we already some every time we heard that french is a uh, language of romance but it's not like that french is a language of technology also so everybody nowadays uh, you know that for, we have uh, bring the or we have bought the uh, all fighter planes from the france so south france is especially for the technology they are into manufacturing they are into medicines they are into uh, aeronautics uh, and even france ministry they are helping us in the make in india a program so uh, there are so many french companies they are entering into india for the make in india program and even um, france ministry is helping us in the uh, defense uh, our uh, indian defense so th there are so many companies which are coming to Fra uh, india the french companies and even other comp uh, countries who are the francophone and those are entering to the india and they are looking for the people uh, who can work with them who can do the language uh, who can speak their language and even uh, who can uh, like do the business with them uh, who can be their employees who can be their associates so th this is the reason we have so many uh, uh, doors to open for us in the french language uh, so this is uh, why uh, we come up with the course of business french 
with this business french will uh, help you to explore uh, your uh, french language uh, in the business uh, uh, field not only like a business french will start learning like the business 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 so this is for the employees this is for the housewives also who wants to enter in the something uh, different uh, who uh, there are so many people uh, we know that around us our relatives our friends they do so many things from the house and they want to export them so this business french help them also to uh, spread their legs in the francophone countries european countries africa so that that will help you to grow uh, in your business field or you are uh, you can grow your business uh, due to this so why uh, business french why not german why not spanish so as uh, i wanted to give you that this fact that business french because french is a official language of 29 countries so french uh, there are the uh, countries uh, who speaks french as their secondary language or that is official language we call them francophone countries and there are so many in the south of uh, africa europe canada morocco uh, there are so many countries who speak french and even now in asia also there are so many uh, people who uh, speak french so around uh, 300 million people speak french right now and uh, according to the report of uh, education ministry of the france uh, in next 5 uh, years uh, they will cross 500 million also so this gives us a lot a lot uh, exposure to expand ourselves uh, as a employee even and as a business person so that's why we come up with this business french course and today we are going to uh, see basic a uh, few tips which are going to help you to understand what is business french and how this uh, will uh, be helpful or how you uh, can enroll for this business french course so today we are going to uh, start uh, with two topics uh, that is how to write a formal email and how we are going to write a resume because you know that if you are a student if you are into the uh, masters levels or the professional course last year you wanted to apply to the uh, many companies so there are few uh, there are uh, so many companies are there in uh, pune or in mumbai uh, in metro uh, especially in the metro cities not only it there are the manufacturing uh, there are the pharmaceutical companies so they are uh, here to uh, hire you so if you want to directly apply to the french companies you can write a resume in french also and in english also but if you write down in a french that gives a, a lot of weight to your resume and to yourself so we are going to do uh, both the things we are going to see the tips i'm going to show you few tips for uh, that uh, so like why uh, so uh, uh, the thing is that why you want to uh, write a resume in uh, french or why you need to write the mail in french uh, you can write down in english that's fine but there is a saying that if you want to do a business with a person you should know their language that will help you to uh, establish a good rapport with them and that's the reason we are going to do this things in french so i'm going to share the um, file with you so this will help you to know about how to write a resume in french so we are going to see the step by steps points how to write a resume in french so a uh, while uh, the first thing about the word resume so resume that means literally means a summary in french and they uh, are not happy if you say i'm writing a resume or a resume they always use the word save curriculum vitae so please make sure if you are uh, applying on linkedin especially people are uh, used linkedin for the professional thing if you are applying uh, on linkedin please put down the word cv or uh, cv or curriculum vitae uh, don't write down the word resume that will give you bad impression so these are the uh, major point that uh, you should come up with so when you uh, a proper french resume or a cv requires a fair amount of the situation personal a uh, lo, uh, like personal information the because french people are not only a uh, look at out the uh, only professional stuff they uh, they wanted to know your personal life also so you have to mention your 
professional things also and the uh, personal thing so when you come up with the uh, things uh, there are the steps which you need to follow or there are the points which you have to put in your resume okay so experience professional the that is the first point you have to tell that about your experience if you are um, fresher then you are all educational backgrounds uh, if you are a professional then all your experience from the latest uh, then uh, your languages that is the most important thing they wanted to know that uh, how many languages do you speak they wanted to know uh, how you are uh, uh, in the french language and other languages so don't forget to put your languages or your skills uh, in that part then your technologies if you know uh, any advanced technology please put that in the resume uh your projects uh, most of the indians uh, engineering students know that uh, they have to do the uh, uh, project in the last year so please give the brief information about your projects which you have done okay uh, so uh, then uh, whatever uh, like if you are done uh, extra professional some activities uh, your hobbies uh, but don't please don't write down that you are like to read or travel uh please make sure you have the hobbies which are bit a professional or which are something unique that uh, might impressive to the company or the hr person then when you uh, describe the uh, language of mastery okay it is always be honest uh, because french people are very very concerned about their french language so uh uh if you speak a single like if you say that i am very much proficient in the your language then you have to be proficient so better if you are a beginner level please put it down that you are at a beginner level you started learning french or any other languages so put that honestly uh, so like maitre convenable bon connaissance intermediate uh, or beginner so whatever is your level of the language please put that lieu écrit parler so how you write it how you read it and how you speak it so proficient beginner whatever is your level please do that courant are you fluent bilingual uh, are you can you speak two language three language whatever it is please put that uh, all languages and don't forget to put your native language whatever it is marathi kannada please put that that is your uh, native language then it is a uh, most a uh, useful thing uh, to put in your cv is your references and the uh, name or the position on which you wanted to apply so be specific because uh, if you find out any jd they have mentioned that their uh, the uh, specific position their requirements they have mentioned everything in detail so please don't forget to put that on for which position are you going to apply if you have any references please mention them so that will help you to uh be a uh, very uh, comfortable in the hr round or technical rounds so this is all about uh, how you write down the resume so these are the points which are uh, most most important and once you finish all your professional uh, uh, things uh, till the references then it comes to your personal life they wanted to know your nationality if you are working abroad that will be a better thing uh, your marital status uh, then your age okay your family members your date of birth uh, and uh, uh, okay passport number and other the mandatory things but other things also do not forget to mention that personal uh, things that help you if you are working on the uh, uh, abroad that will help you to get the visa for your family members and all so that will uh, help you in the your visa process so please uh, make sure you are uh, writing your personal information in the uh, uh, your cv and uh, please uh, make sure you, uh, you are writing your uh, mobile number which is a active number then your email id which you are going to check every day uh, your linkedin uh, profile link uh, then your skype id so that will help uh, them to reach to you at any time because european uh, working hours and indian working hours are a bit are different so that uh, help uh, to the european companies or other francophone companies to reach the candidate or even the business associates because they should know that on which timing you are working and on which timing they are working so they can communicate with you and uh, if you are like employee of uh, a current company and 
you can like put that company's uh, of uh, work office details like address or uh, your dex phone number so that uh, is also going to help you in that they can know on which project are you working they uh, they will know that on which company are you working what is the reputation of that company and that uh, help you into the uh, interview skills uh, which we are going to see in our business french course uh, how to give the formal interviews which are the questions uh, they will ask and how you can simplify uh, those questions and Uh, give the answers in better French, so that we are going to see in our course. Now, uh, as you know that okay, uh, so these are the uh, things which you uh, which help you into the writing the resume. So, uh, so like these uh, help you to uh, write uh, like writing a resume, a proper resume uh, help you to get a job in the all French speaking countries. so if you put all these things on your linkedin profile also people will definitely due to those keywords people will definitely come to you i'm not going to say this is only for the students or uh, this is only for the uh, people who are in the corporate working people this is can be done with the small scale business women also even people who are the retired person they can use their like uh, part time skills uh, using uh, this resume uh so please uh, mention everything and uh, anyways uh, uh i can say that uh, you will uh, get so many important things uh with the this resume okay now uh, we will come to the writing a email so writing a email uh, is uh, like uh, this is going to help all not only students for the professionals and everybody uh so if your uh, job is involved being uh, in touch with the french speaker or uh, uh, you will uh, need to uh, write a emails to one or uh, one one pointer on another uh, in french uh, like uh, we say that courier electronic or a message electronic or a simple mail uh, in french we use uh, the words and it is uh, after all a, a great way to send a message quickly the french people uh, prefer emails uh, that is a good way to communicate with them uh, so but these emails should be a much more formal because french is the uh, most formal language also it's not only the romantic one it's a formal also so always address the receptionist formally that is these are the tips to write down the uh, email okay so uh, this is also depends on the how person uh, is reacting to you so if the person is uh, greeting you informally or casually please do it by the casually if the person is uh, reacting to uh, with you or talking or uh, communicating with you the formally please go ahead with the formal way uh, make sure your message is well structured this will uh, make it clear for both of you uh use the simple simple sentences don't make so much complicated sentences that uh, will uh, guide the miscommunication and always uh, read your uh, emails again and again before sending them uh, your grammar uh, uh your sentence construction your spelling mistakes uh, because uh, i don't know how many of you already know but uh, french uh, has so many silent letters and we use so many accents to make our point or to speak so if you miss any of the acts or the word or the meaning gets changed so make sure you read all your emails before sending them so let's uh, see what is the standard format of the writing emails here i'm going to give you some uh, some expressions which might help you uh, to write down the email but yeah if you want to go in detail then uh, you need to know more grammar or you need to know more uh, professional vocabulary or business uh, vocabulary but here i'm just going to give you some basic expressions which can help you at least you can greet the person or at least send uh, if you have any queries or anything so basic level or the beginner communication you can do with this uh, standard sentences so let's start with the salutations okay so always a uh, formal is madame or monsieur and their surname okay french uh, people always uh, start with their surname so like shilpa divekar they will never say the shilpa divekar they always say divekar shilpa so you have to uh, be sure that you are writing their surname first then neutral or like a casual thing if you know uh, your business associate or uh, your manager or ceo managing director 
ऑर द हायर ऑथरिटीज यू कैन से शेर मदाम शे मॉसियर के तो डियर मैडम एंड डियर सर एंड यू कैन डिरेक्टली पुट द वर्ड बॉन्जूर so that is a bonjour as uh, you can go with the formal informal it's completely neutral word so if you don't know the person in front of you you don't know how that person is thinking about you is it is he, he or she a casual or a, uh, like a formal person then best way to write down the bonjour and the person's name i prefer that if you are writing bonjour then put a surname and the name both the things don't only put the surname if you don't know the abbreviation if you, you don't know that uh, the uh, person who is reading email uh, is a male or female so better bonjour and the name uh, or the uh, their position will be a better way to write down it uh, that will go easy for you then the reason for writing it should be there so you have to uh, follow these steps uh, so literally the simple sentences i'm telling you jama address avupur so you can start like I, i want to write or i'm writing to you and you can put the reason i'm writing to you with the following question jama address avu avekla kesyo suvan and you can write down the question i would like to ask you the following questions jo vudre vu pose le kesyo suvo you can write down the uh, again the question i have uh, taken the liberty of writing to you Japron la leberte the vu ekri pur, and you can continue the, with that. Thank you for your letter on such a uh, date. So jo vu ramasi pur vote letter diu, and you can uh, continue with the date and uh, timing and whatever the content you already received from the person. So these are this is the second part. You are greeting that person first, then you are writing the reason for the uh, that email. then so we are continuing the uh, reasons i'm writing to you jama address avupur and you can write down the reason for that i am writing to you with the following question oh sorry i'm just uh, yeah okay now the second uh, third part is objectives so what are the objectives uh, so here it's a bit a tricky thing for the beginners because uh, you don't know uh, exactly how to put your um, uh whatever if you are putting the uh, order or if you are first time connecting with the person for your business or uh, for uh, interview so if you don't know that thing uh, i prefer you to go with a easy one uh, i would like to ask you for some information jamare would the monday kelkas on sign no would it be possible for you to send me who sare il possible the ma avoye could you Uh, give me indication of the price pure bhu ma mdk la pre i would like to participate uh, participate in jamare participate am could you please contact me a telephone number pure bhu nu contact u la number of the telephone so here when you are uh, putting those adjectives uh, be specific don't uh, write uh, so many things put your uh, objectives one or two line max uh don't uh, write down so much history about it because they already have the reference of your previous emails so they don't like to read again and again the same thing so better to just put in one or two lines max whatever uh, your query or whatever your exact messages and the number of the telephone so i will uh, tell you that uh, many of you who are into my friend list you know that when i put my telephone number i put in the group of two so they have their habit that if whatever is your number 10 digits make a group of 2 so 2 2 2 numbers and 5 so you have to put your number like two numbers then uh, space two number space that way uh, don't forget to put your country code don't forget to put your country code whatever it is if the person already have your number or whatever please put your country code that is a mandatory in french emails or even if you are contacting any of the french person on your whatsapp or uh, normal uh, like text messages please put your country code then it comes to the next part is the conclusions so uh, here uh this is a fourth part or we can say the ending of your mail so uh these are some more expressions which uh, are there you can put any of them and literally you can paste uh, in your mail uh should you have any question please do not hesitate to contact us so there are bit of formal uh, conclusions 
nous nous tenons à votre disposition pour toutes questions. We hope that we are able to provide you with all necessary information. Nous espérons avoir pu vous fournir toutes les informations nécessaires. We thank you for uh, your request for the proposal. Nous vous remercions pour votre demande d'offre. We will contact you as soon as possible. Nous vous contacterons dans le plus bref détail. We would like to be grateful if you could send us your reply before or some date. Nous vous serons reconnaissants de bien vouloir uh, nous faire uh, pa parvenir votre réponse avant la date. Uh, now the date format is also like date, month and year. So basic date format, uh, follow it, uh, else it will uh, give the confusion. We will look forward to hearing from you and ask you, sir, madam, to accept our best regards. So dans l'attente de votre réponse, nous vous prenons d'agré, madame, monsieur, nos salutations les meilleurs. We would like to uh, make an appointment with you to discuss the possibilities. Nous aimerons prendre rendez-vous avec vous pour discuter des possibilités. So uh, these are the uh, bit professional uh, responses. Uh, and as I said earlier, please uh, do follow as much as uh, formal you can. And the complimentary closes uh, like as we do in English. So yours faithfully, salutations, um, discounté. Uh, sincerely, U.S. Censor, Salutation, Mayor, Sentimo, Bia, uh, Vu. I will not recommend Tua because Tua is completely informal. So I will recommend you to Bia, uh, Vu. Cordially, Bia, uh, Cordial Mo, uh, Best Regards is Mayor, Salutation. So this way you can uh, end your email. So these are the uh, kind of a points, uh, these are the tips. Um, uh, standard sentences will help you to write a good email in. French and um, so like as you are planning to do the business in uh, fr francophone countries or uh, francophone companies anytime soon like after the uh, this pandemic situation or whether you are uh, popping for a quick uh, business trip uh, or relocating to the uh, francophone countries uh, for work or for studies uh, like it's a good to know this uh, corporate uh, world and their rule. So uh, this is all about, I have uh, given you the information. So I would like to um, know about you people, uh, what you do and uh, how you find uh, these, uh, are these really gonna help you or you want to know uh, more about like a French corporate world uh, or formal French or business French. So I would like to unmute uh, all of you and please uh, do share your views, what you do. I'm just uh, going to stop my uh, screen and uh, so please unmute yourself and uh, please do share your uh, views, what you want exactly from the business French. Okay, so if you uh, don't uh, have uh, any uh, thing, I would like to uh, continue uh, with the Kavita and uh, Vijay. You can uh, please uh, go ahead. Uh, wait, actually, I have muted everybody, so I have now unmuted just. Okay, okay, Vijay. Now, now everybody can speak. Okay. Okay, Vijay. Yes, hi, Shilpa. This is Pooja. Hi, Pooja. Yes, very nice information that you shared about the resume writing in French. Uh, could you please tell us about the translation? What is the uh, scope for translator? Translator has a huge scope. Uh, it depends on, again, your domain experience. Uh, so there are the people who are into uh, pharmaceutical translation, the, then uh, IT translation, the people uh, who do the work for the IT industry, then uh, manufacturing industry again manufacturing has completely come up with the electrical mechanical uh, industry so there are a huge uh, scope for the translation then there are the people who are into legal uh, i uh, i want to share with you puja that uh, france uh, like french uh, language uh, like in 
all over the world uh, in the court uh, especially the legal or uh, law uh, french is the most used language after english so there are the people who are working with the uh, laws and legal documents uh, and if you have a experience of that you can do the translation in that also so for the translators uh, it's a huge scope uh, and uh, this is a completely freelancing job you can do work from home at your convenient timings there are so many companies who provide the translation services uh, for the even the uh, if you're too good in the literature then you can do the translation of the books also there are so many companies in pune itself they are providing the book translation uh, from french to sometimes you uh, indian regional languages if you are good in that pair or french english is always open so there are so many uh, options you have yes thank you so much i am interested in literature so okay. thank you so much for the information thank you Yes. Uh, anyone else has any thing to share? Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, I'm Gajeshri Sanglikar from Sangli. Hi, Gajeshri. Such a nice information you shared, ma'am. Actually, I am really very happy for someone to whom I should learn French. but here ma'am actually um, i am facing problem that i couldn't come to pune and complete actually b1 syllabus i have completed but if i wish to do b2 or c1 um, but um, here sangli kolapur we don't have any uh, facility to learn french so please uh, i need your guidance uh definitely what could you uh, tell ma'am so go just see as i uh, uh, in my introduction i told you that i am associated with the parijat academy and parijat academy has a e learning center so where we are teaching online french uh, so you can enroll for the levels uh, b2 and uh, we will like uh, we will guide you in that about the courses and everything uh, so you can uh, enroll for that and you can learn online okay ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you for attending yeah uh, anyone else uh so which i shall i uh, go with the uh, course details okay uh so uh, as everyone uh, Uh, want to know what is business French and uh, uh, why we need a business French? Uh, as in the starting, also I've explained uh, that okay, Francophone countries are so many people who are uh, speaking French in the millions. But why Indians need to learn French? Why Indians need to like uh, learn all this A one, A two, B one, B two, even those. Um, uh business french or uh, specially designed courses for the people who are into uh business or like people who are doing on uh internship in the francophone countries or uh, who needs to learn this uh formal terms or corporate world so i would like to share you a few facts which come up with the indian and uh a french uh, report like we uh, we call them that uh, indo french relationship and france ministry has generated this uh, report uh, in a uh, last year 2019 that there are so many companies who are do they export and import from india so there are the companies uh, who are into iron metal pharmaceutical companies uh, textile companies Uh, so as we all know that okay uh, paris is the uh, capital of uh, france but yeah again there are the textile companies who are import and export both india and france um, then there are the so many manufacturing companies then there are the uh, companies uh, completely defense sector uh, we are having a very good relationship indo french relationship in the defense sector so people who are working uh, in the defense sector uh other related product uh, line they can learn french and they can uh, grow their career uh, in 
that field uh, and there are so many companies uh, i know definitely you know that l'oreal is a french company but there are the so many companies who has their subsidiaries <clears throat> and their uh, completely manufacturing unit uh, in pune and the metro cities as i told you that uh, make in india program uh, france uh, is uh, investing in there but uh, the metro our metro project uh, there also france is investing so people are getting the opportunities work in that field if you know the french language then our companies like indian companies uh, like uh, mahindra uh, sun pharmaceuticals so these are companies they have their uh, offices in france and francophone countries so if you are working with such a companies you can up upgrade your resume with knowing the french uh, language or business french language and you can fly out into the france and francophone countries so both way there is a win win situation for the people who are learning foreign languages and uh, because of uh, indo french relationship this is growing very strongly uh, french people are the people who are speaking french or even the french people they are, are having a better opportunities uh, in future uh, as to grow your business also or as to grow your uh, corporate life so that's why we, you can uh, attempt the french language i know that french is bit everybody says that okay german is the easy language but french is very complicated language what they speak they don't say uh, they don't write or they write they don't speak but the the fact be uh, apart from this is that french is very close to indian language we says that okay uh, the base of a french language and indian language is same so if you speak any of indian language marathi gujarati tamil malayalam your grammar and there are so many concepts are similar in french and indian languages so that help you to learn the french language that help you to understand the concepts of the french language and that will help you to speak uh, more or uh, like easily i will say easily to the uh, the french language so that is the reason because i uh, when i started learning french i also got confused when i saw those all accents but i uh, luckily i i have a one trainer and she explained me uh, how the Uh, marathi and french language connection and uh, that helped me a lot and i started learning that way and easily i come up with so many logics and solutions to remember the french vocabulary a uh, french grammar so those all my experience going to help you while uh, you are learning french uh, and all uh, but parallelly the technical experience as i have worked with the uh, manufacturing company i have worked with the it company i have uh, worked uh, with the uh, uh, pharmaceutical company also for uh, some of their projects i did the translation so that uh, will give my experience uh, to you and uh, even my connects uh, i can share them to you when uh, you are learning french language which i already do with my uh, uh, earlier students they get a job they get a connects with them uh francophone uh, countries and uh, uh francophone companies uh, for further education for the uh job profile upgrade themselves to go to the uh, francophone countries so th that help you into the uh upgrading yourself i can say so uh this will uh, give you from my side i can give you so many things uh, if you do any of the level like a1 level a2 level b1 b2 uh, business french or even the uh, we do have so other courses uh, according to your um, requirement especially we do the design that uh, according to the clients need or the students need so we do have another courses so you can enroll for that and you can enjoy french i will say okay uh, which i do you have a uh, time or shall i go with the uh, other things we have still 5 to 7 minutes in our hand Okay. So, so will... after ten minutes, we can give some extra information from our side. So, if uh, you can continue for at least five to seven. Yeah, minutes. I will. I will uh, continue with the course details, which we are going to. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, going to take uh, in the business French as we have uh, taken the resume, how to write the resume and how to write down the email. So, I will uh, continue with the our 
business course uh, course fee structure and what we are going to con- uh, do in this so as everybody knows business french business french business french so this is not only the word business french this is all about a professional life professional uh, corporate life professionally how you are going to use french so if you are talking if you are writing if you are doing programming uh, if you are uh, doing any kind of a production if you are into pharmaceutical if you are into medicine uh, if you are into any other textile industry or cosmetic industry so any industry if you are into any industry this courses will help you okay so this our french business course is a 45 hours course so we are going to conduct one hour every day monday to friday uh and uh, timings will be uh, probably 7 to 8 so people who are working they will get free uh, in the evening and they can attain the course and it's a completely online course so you don't have to worry about a uh, traveling like uh, earlier uh, uh, she said like i'm staying in the sangli so how can i co- complete the course so it's a online thing you uh, can just need to log in and continue the uh, learning so content we are going to cover it's a grammar so the grammar which uh, help you to write down the whole uh, thing like we saw that when we are writing the emails we stuck somewhere like the grammatical part because french grammar is bit confusing so we are going to uh, cover that basic grammar then a communication at several levels for the professional life at in different levels as you saw, uh, saw in the email writing i have taken so many uh, expressions uh, they are not only the one line sentences there are so many where you can put them at uh, whatever you have the requirement uh, and the method of this teaching is audio video uh, we do have the so, uh, right now we are providing the soft copies uh, because of the pandemic situation so we uh, do provide you the soft copy of the textbook then audio video, video will be there plus we uh, we do share other videos also in the class we do have the audios or uh, writing will be there reading part uh, anyways the textbook we will we do provide other um, uh, french uh, dialogues or french emails or the real life case studies also and the speaking that is a mandatory from day when you start speaking in french that is what we do we don't uh, just only do the like a uh, uh, only the first teaching teaching part only i speak and others listen no from day one from once you start you do the login from that minute you start speaking in french so that what we do and uh, uh, this uh, course uh, uh, fees is 18350 rupees and uh, there's a fee structure uh, that which i will help you uh, in that how you can uh, take the benefit of uh, parijat academy for this uh, business french course uh, so i will hand over now to vijay uh, who can explain you about the fee structure uh, and uh, about parijat academy also yeah thank you shilpa thank you, thank you and it is a very nice and informative seminar uh, as i can see uh, wait okay so now uh, i am sure that it the seminar is very uh, very helpful for all businessmen professionals and graduate students who are watching uh, uh, through fb also because we are now today uh, come fb live uh, in various group in many groups we are in live so i am very much sure many of uh, us are taking benefits uh, from this uh, french business french and very well uh, knowledge has been provided by our faculty shilpa divekar so uh, i would like to uh, introduce about uh, this french or we can say uh, the parijat academy we are having the one stop solution for all academic and non academic subjects so coming to foreign languages we are also into japanese uh, Jap- japanese language french uh, as well as uh, german language spanish languages so now this uh, now today we learned uh, business french and uh, this uh, course or the, uh, this course is much useful for all businessmen and professionals uh, i would like to tell you uh, the facilities we are giving uh, to you uh, this is the uh, this is the e learning so you can learn from any corner of the world so you can learn it online it will be a very informative uh, course and we are giving the facility of our e learning app we are having having our e learning app uh, named as a parijat academy you can download it free and from that app you can able to uh, go uh, live you can able to see live sessions 
you can interact with our faculties one to one face to face as well as you can you will be getting online test regular and online test for practice assignments everything will be through app and i am sure the app uh, through uh, learning through app will be more enjoyable because we will be always in touch with you through that app you can chat uh, you can chat through that app any doubts if you want you can uh, discuss uh, with our any faculties uh regarding to that course and we are always ready to give the answer uh for such students who are always asking doubts so we love students who are asking doubts and i am very much sure uh, many of students will uh, join this fr business french and will take the benefit of uh, this course in the future uh, to expand business in overseas countries in france and other countries also uh graduate students uh, will take the benefit uh, to make a career in french languages or as a tutor or in many any uh, many fields so i am very much sure it will be helpful for all of you and uh, this uh, i i recommend to uh, download our app i have given uh, the link of that app in the chat box and please download that app uh, through that uh, link uh, as a student and then we will uh, add you in that batch uh, once you uh, take admission and one facility i would like to share with you that the fees are 18315 so nothing to worry because we are giving 0% emi scheme so if if you think if you are thinking 18000 is a big amount nothing to worry you can pay monthly emi which is a 0% interest so you can pay monthly uh, by like uh, 2000 and like and you can pay for 8 and 9 months you do you have a option to choose the emi uh, how how much you want to pay per month so that i that facility uh, we have we are providing through our app we are we are having a type with bajaj finance so we are get you are, we are giving you the 0% uh, interest rate uh, emi emi options so you can uh, enroll uh, with uh, by taking emi bmi emi facilities but for that you need to download our app because once you download our app then the, we can raise the facility of emi so why you are waiting download our app today right now and be ready to learn business french from our very experienced and knowledgeable faculty shilpa divekar so you must be enjoying that so i am uh, hand over uh, to our next director kavita walawalkar so kavita ma'am uh, uh, can you conclude or we can take a feedback of our students also thank you thanks a lot thank you hello everyone so i am sure you all enjoyed this program as uh, vijay rightly said we focused on activity based learning or we can tell it is more about speaking along with writing scheme now let me know from uh, each and every one of you how you felt about this program i would like to have a feedback from every one of you you can write down your comments or you can tell us here in the program are you there so pooja ma'am would you like to yes definitely this is very informative session for me yes, how to audible. write uh... yes am i audible yes, yes you are on your videos possible chaitrali is there who chaitrali can you uh, on your video हेलो हमें ऑडिबल या 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 एक्चुअली आई एम लिटिल बिट आउटसाइड आई एम नॉट एबल टू स्विच ऑन माय वीडियो बट आई गेस आई आई एम ऑडिबल इजंट इट सो आई थिंक द सेशन वाज रियली हेल्पफुल एंड द वे शिल्पा मैम एक्सप्लेन आई रियली लाइक्ड इट सो यस श्योरली सो आई जस्ट वांटेड टू आस्क वन थिंग दिस इज दिस इज बिजनेस फ्रेंच राइट सो लाइक यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑलरेडी Uh, they are already like no japan uh, french language or like you are going to teach them from the scratch uh yeah chaitali i would like to answer uh, this thing so thanks first of all thanks for attending uh no we are uh, yeah there are the uh, business french courses where uh, people uh, should know french like uh, till b2 but this uh, business coach uh, 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 business french course is designed uh, for the people who don't know anything about french language So this okay. is uh, from we are going to start from ABCD. Oh, that's nice. So okay. it's completely uh, 
uh, we have designed this course in that way so people because uh, if you go to the alliance courses or any other institute you have to finish your a1 a2 and b1 b2 and then you can apply only for the uh, business coach mm. uh, but mm. here we are doing in a different way oh, okay 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 fine thank you chaitali uh, chaitrali thanks for asking let me add one thing it is not rec- uh, you know com- compulsory to know your lang- english language well only then mm-hmm. you can go for french अगर फ्रेंच इंग्लिश लग रहा है कि मेरी इंग्लिश इतनी ज्यादा अच्छी नहीं है एंड फिर भी मुझे एक फॉरेन लैंग्वेज सीखनी है योर मोस्ट वेलकम माई फैकल्टीज आर वेल ट्रेन एंड दे कैन टीच यू फ्रॉम डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज ऑल्सो नॉट नेसेसरी यू शुड बी डूइंग एक्सलेंट इन इंग्लिश ओनली दोन यू कैन गो फॉर योर फ्रेंच नो एब्सोलूटली नॉट रिक्वायर्ड even okay, okay. your hindi and your good in your marathi it's more than enough the only thing we should know uh, have one more a uh, hand uh, language in hand and we are ready. yeah yeah <laughs> okay so in 45 hours we will be able to complete uh, like from basic learning also speaking everything right like is it is it really possible to achieve yeah, that yeah. yeah it is really possible so we are going to start from a b c d then the basic grammar will be covered uh, so where you uh, easily can communicate uh, with your associates or the uh, companies if you like uh, if you want to uh, mm-hmm. work with the company so it will be easily you can uh, talk with them communicate with them uh, if you are into business or people want to uh, put the order they want to get the invoicing things or all mm-hmm. those process they can easily do Okay. okay so we are yeah. going to conduct everything in that and sure. that will be uh, so there will be the some tricks logics will be given so where you mm-hmm. can use them and uh, do your communication okay. and okay. as i told you earlier uh, we are going to, from f- first day or from first minute we are going to start in uh, speaking french so it's not mm-hmm. like that uh, you know english or hindi or anything you are going mm. to learn a new language and you are going to learn that language okay. as it is we are not going to do the uh, like a completely translation thing of each and every word because mm-hmm. if the person uh, that's why we put uh, this um, thing uh, the people who are into like a professional courses the last year student or the uh, students who are doing masters or the working uh, people so they already know their profession well you just need to uh, put that your profession into the french language mm-hmm. and we are going to yeah. help you in that way. Yes, got it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Shilpa. That's that was great explanation. Further, I think uh, everyone's query has been uh, clear, and it's time to say sayonara, goodbye, and we will meet again. Uh, Shilpa, would you like to say something in French to say bye bye to everyone? That that's I'm to say that sayonara is not a French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we are having right so a bianto uh, is the thing you can say that see you soon so uh, i uh-huh. hope that people will, uh, students will oh, explore, uh, for our all uh, other courses business french a1 a2 b1 b2 uh, or any other for, uh, languages so th- for that we will say that a bianto thank you everyone no tension nahi hai sir bye bye thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.